Howdy, I'm Brian Bracewell with Southside Market and Barbecue here in Elgin, Texas. Southside is the uh, oldest barbecue joint in the state. We've been around for 140 years. We were started in 1882 and we're thankful y'all are here with us today for a tour, so let's get started. So it's early on a Monday morning, we're just getting started for the week. Uh, this is our main dining room, which was actually the bank lobby when it was uh, a bank at one point in time. You can still see the deposit safe over there. Of course, we've got Texas flag and pictures from our history here in this dining room. Uh, between the two dining rooms, we'll seat about 300, uh, and we're counter service. And so when you come in, you walk straight into the dining room, you'll pass by the uh, ice cream counter. We serve Bluebell. Enter up to the uh, barbecue line. So we've got two entrances to our counter service barbecue line. Uh, you know, we use one all week long. The other one we use when we get busy. We're busiest Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, as you're coming in, you just queue up order your barbecue and move on down the line. We've cut, cut it fresh for you, uh, right in front of you. You can order it by the pound, you can order it by the plate, by the sandwich, or you can tell us, I want $3 or I want this much. And so uh, we custom cut and custom uh, make every single order uh, that we produce. So after you get your barbecue from our service line, you'll come over here to kind of our condiment area. First thing you've got, we serve crackers, Lance crackers with our barbecue. Uh, just a throwback to being an old butcher shop. Uh, back in the old days, crackers always went good with sausage. Uh, and we got our history out of, um, or we got our start serving fresh meat out of the back of a wagon, door to door. And so this is kind of a, pays homage to that. We throw the crackers in the back of the wagon now. We've got a condiment station and then drink station behind you. Uh, and then this is, here's our bigger dining room here at the Elgin store. It's actually was the drive-through for the old bank. So all the pillars were the lanes. We still have the bank signs up on the uh, inside the walls. Uh, and then over here in the corner, we've got the night deposit drop. And so we still take, tell people we take deposits. So if you'd like to make a deposit, that's where you do it right there. We walk through the old teller window uh, to come into the dining room. And so really in 92, we just made do with facility we had and turned it into a barbecue joint. Took the drive through and closed it in and started serving barbecue in it. Uh, on all of our walls we've got um, mounts from everything you see in our stores and something that myself and my, somebody in my family has harvested. Uh, when we're not making barbecue we like to be outdoors uh, chasing it and so uh, that's our dining rooms in our Elgin store. All right well let's head on back to the pit room. So this is our pit room at, here at the Elgin store. Uh, we've got some uh, sausage slammers and some jalapeno cheddar sausage coming off the pit right now. Looking pretty good. This is what we call our flat pit. And so we're using all post oak wood, wood fires, old style, like the old style brick pits. Uh, ours is steel lined. Uh, and this pit was built for this location in 1992. Uh, fire boxes. Nothing fancy, we're just throwing soap on the, uh, on the fire. Looks like we might need one right now. Again, we've got the slammers and the sausage in this door. We've got some of our uh, original beef Elgin sausage. Uh, this is why we're on the map. This is what's uh, kind of kept us going for the last 140 years. Monday special is pork chops. We cook a thick cut of pork chops. So David here is cooking uh, about to throw the pork chops on the pit for us. Uh, so he's going to season those up and get going there. Right on the other side of David. Um, we've got some 
lamb ribs on the pit. We like to cook those closer to the fire. They look like they're about to be ready. Uh, and then behind us on our oiler uh, barbecue pit, we've got, look at there, some uh, baby back ribs. Oiler barbecue pits, all wood fire. We're using the post oak on it as well, uh, and it's fire boxes right outside. So we've got a good fire in there. We're cooking at about 250 degrees on those meats. On our sausages and stuff, we're cooking about 300. Uh, we've got another oiler out here where we're cooking uh, briskets. We cook these overnight. So these are the briskets that we'll serve today in the restaurant. Uh, we've got a few still on the pit. These went on the uh, pit last night about 7 or 8 o'clock. So they've been going for about 13, 14 hours at this point. And um, we're cooking them at 200 to 210. 210. Uh, and then we're pulling them off 195 to 200. Inside us, we've got our mobile barbecue pit. Incorporates the same things as inside our store. Uh, we take this on the road for events and for catering. We've got a flat pit on the front side of this pit, uh, of this trailer. And then we've also got a boiler here on the back side of the trailer. Uh, so we can cook. Basically taking south side on wheels so we can cook everything exactly the same way that we do here in the store. Uh, this pit, the next three over. It's not used on Mondays, it's used uh, busier days and weekends. And as you can see right here, it was built by Henry Jansky out of Taylor in uh, February of 92 uh, by Taylor, Taylor Ironworks. And so we, when my grandfather moved the business from downtown Elgin out to the highway, this pit was built. We set it in place and then we built the building around, this part of the building around it. And so these bricks, tile bricks come from uh, Color brick here in Elgin, Texas, as well. So, uh, Elgin's not only the sausage capital of Texas, but we're also the brick capital of the Southwest. You may not know that. Let's go on back to the kitchen. So, this is the back side of our service line. We put together all our plates and potatoes and make our sides. Uh, Combine them on the plates right here, our service line. And cutting boards are up here. Uh, we're not serving yet, but we've got the menu boards behind us. And so as you come up, you walk up to the counter, tell us exactly what you'd like and how much you want, and uh, we cut it fresh for you. We hold the meats off the pit and uh, these CVAP units, and so there's not much in there. We've got some nice pork steaks in this one, We're getting ready for service. That's just a pork butt that we cut in the steaks and smoke it on the pit, on that flat pit. So that's pretty much what we do here at the uh, service line. Uh, next, let's run through the rest of the dining room and then we'll head over to the meat market and I'll show you the back of the kitchen as well. History over the last 140 years of Southside, so it goes back to my dad and grandfather, a 100 year anniversary and on down through the years. And so when you come in the Elgin store, make sure you stop by and take a look at that. Also other, other stores have history walls as well. So we're here in the prep kitchen at the Elgin store. Uh, this is where Isabel makes all of our sides for us. We've got potato salad, coleslaw, mac and cheese, beans, uh, corn on the cob and also a uh, side salad. So this is where Isabel does all the magic back here. So she's fixing up some batches uh, for potato salad. I'm gonna come back this way. 
got a batch of potatoes for the potato salad that's already been uh, boiled. And then we've got beans, it looks like they're ready. And uh, we'll be plating them up soon. Uh, we've got some sauce for the mac and cheese. around the corner and uh, from our commissary kitchen and we've got our drive through and so you can drive up to the Elgin store and get fresh barbecue as well it's cut fresh as you order it and so this is where that magic happens uh, we got the folks over here uh, pint some quarts of uh, coleslaw making that right now so good? Yep. everybody's shy this morning <laughs> Uh, so next we'll run out to the butcher shop and show you what we got in the meat market. Okay, here we are in our fresh meat market here in Elgin. And so as you walk into the meat market, we've got our sauces and spices display. Uh, these are all our recipes. We have bottled for us on the sauces, on the spices. We actually smoke some of them ourselves. And so we'll get the spices in, we'll smoke them on our pits, and we'll send them off to be uh, bottled. And so this is some uh, oak smoked garlic pepper salt, and we have different combinations of that as well. Uh, it's a really good spice. So here in our fresh meat butcher counter, we've got, of course, what we're known for is our Fresh Elgin sausage, this is the stuff that we make here in our plant. We'll go look at that in a few minutes. Um, and we cook that fresh daily, but we also sell it fresh uh, in the butcher shop so you can come and get it and take it home for you. Um, we have other fresh meats, briskets, steaks, uh, sub primals. We've got uh, baby back ribs, pork ribs. Uh, you can get them fresh, you can get them seasoned, chicken halves. Uh, again, fresh or seasoned. And then all of our smoked meats, uh, we've got our smoked sausages. We've got six different flavors of smoked sausages that we make here uh, and we sell in our butcher shop. Also, your local grocery store may have them as well. And then we take all of our uh, barbecue items on our menu and we smoke those and we package them. So basically, when you come to our butcher shop, you can get it fresh and take it home and do it yourself. You can get it seasoned, take it home and do it yourself or you can get it fully cooked, take it home, and uh, basically heat it up and serve it to your guests. All right, so now we're gonna go back into our processing plant. We're gonna show where we make and package the sausage and the barbecue and everything for things that we distribute. This is all under USDA inspection. And so we're gonna suit up. We like to wear maroon around here for all the good Aggies out there. All right, we're gonna go into the fully cooked areas of the plant first, and then we'll migrate up to the raw areas. This is the hallway that leads uh, past our coolers and freezers into our packaging room. We're packaging sausage this morning for a uh, grocery store. So this is our packaging machine. We're making 40 ounce packages of the original beef sausage. So the process looks like we just uh, take the smoked sausage, place it in the pouches, and then it rolls down and gets sealed. Uh, our film looks like butcher paper because we want everybody to know this is authentic Texas barbecue. So this morning we've got our original beef sausage that we've made in, in the front room, smoked, and now we're going to cut it off the racks and we're putting it in the pouches. So after the sausage is packaged, it goes down the conveyor to be labeled and go through the metal detector. Okay. 
day after it's uh, packaged and the sausage comes over here, it gets a label on the bottom and then the top. Goes through the metal detector. After the metal detector, then we uh, box it and palletize it. All right, now we're gonna head upstream in the process and go into the raw areas. This is where we're gonna be making and grinding the sausage, getting it on the racks, getting it ready for smoking, and trimming briskets and things like that. First of all, we're making some slammers. We talked about slammers on the barbecue pit. This is simply, we take a fresh jalapeno, we de-seed it, we stuff it with cheddar cheese, we wrap it in sausage and wrap it in bacon and then we smoke them. We distribute them to grocery stores. We also sell them at our restaurants as well. So the whole rack of Slammers that's uh, ready to go to the barbecue pit. This, the ladies are over here making them. And so we make the sausage here in the house and then they assemble the Slammers and uh, they're pretty darn good. This is our sausage room. We make all of our sausages that carry the south side label. Our number one product is an all beef sausage. And so first thing we do is we grind the, the meat trimmings uh, and the coarse grind, like what you see right here. We take it over and we put those trimmings into a mixer. Mix in our spices and ingredients in this machine. And then when it's ground out, it's sausage, like pan sausage, ready to be stuffed into a casing. And so we come over here, Mondo and his crew uh, run our sausage room. And so this is Mondo. He's making our link sausage for us. This is all beef sausage, uh, the original flavor. He stuffs it. We hang it on the sticks. We put the sticks on the rack. This is our smokehouse. The smoke comes from the back side of it. Uh, we've got oak, sawdust, and wood chips that we use to generate the smoke. Uh, and we track the temperature, the internal temperature of the sausage all the way through the process to ensure that we get it cooked right. Uh, after it's cooked and smoked, then we chill it down and then it goes into the packaging room and gets put in the package uh, like we just saw. Next thing to show you is all the meat that we have ready to go through this week. Monday's our big day. We bring in all of our meat that we've processed for the week. And so let's go look at the cooler and see what we've got to do this week. And so this is our meat storage cooler. As you can see, we've got the cupboards are full. So we've gotten all our meat in for the week. And now we will just start the process of going through it, making sausage, making barbecue. Uh, so at the end of the week, we don't carry anything over as the plan. So uh, we keep this room at about, meat freeze at 28. We try to keep it as close to 32. We don't want to freeze the water, but uh, we like to keep the meat cold. Next, we got our finished goods cooler. All the product that was made last week that's ready to be shipped out this week. Is stored in this room. 
And so up top you'll see uh, boxes of sausage that we made last week that we're getting ready to send out to like the HEBs, the Walmarts, the Kroger's of the world. Uh, restaurants also buy our sausage from us. And then in, on these racks down low you'll see briskets. That we've trimmed. We trim them here at our Elgin plant and we send them out to each of our stores to be cooked fresh daily. And so we kind of use it, our Elgin store as our commissary. All the meat comes in here. We make all the sausage here. We trim all the briskets here. We send it out to the other stores. And then our other three stores cook everything fresh on site daily. All right, so here we are uh, back behind the Elgin store uh, by the pit room here at the Woodpile. This is the post oak that we have cut for us here in Bastrop County and shipped over to all of our stores. Uh, so thank you all for taking the tour with us today. Thank you, Kevin, for having us. And uh, we just invite you to come visit us here in Elgin. Uh, we've also got a store in Bastrop and Hutto and then one in Austin. So uh, come see us sometime. Take care. Bye.